right. It is Monday morning. The 22nd of March. It is supposedly 62 degrees. I think it's warmer than that, though. It's about 12.30. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I got to tell you. When I was in the Walmart, Fort Walton last night, and the Dustin one, they were like out of TVs. For the last three days, people have been just shopping away at Walmart, but TVs, boom. And then for like the whole last year, it was bicycles. They could never keep bicycles in stock. But I just went through the Dustin Walmart and the entire bottom shelf on the wall with the TVs is absolutely empty. There's about nine TVs that are like $500 and up on a rounder. And uh, they had a righteous Raku one that's like 70 inches. I wonder how well it plays because a lot of those big ones just are crappy. I had a friend of mine got a big giant one and he hated it. Took it right back. But anyway, uh, yeah. Walmart's are slam packed. And uh, last night at the Fort Walton one, it was like everything was empty. I went to go look for cheese and like there was all empty boxes. I mean, just everything was just empty in the food shelves. It was really wild in, in, in the dry shelves and most of the store, it looked like the pandemic because most of the store was just empty. And it was because, I mean, they stock all night and all day, but it's, it's, you know, that even though the stores close really early now, um, they stock at night. As soon as, as soon as they close, they've got stalkers that are hired out. They're outsourced to come stock the store every single night. And uh, it's pretty much always been that way. And um, I'm going to tell you, it was just so empty. It was the weirdest thing. Still reading 62, but man, it feels like 82. Ooh. I wonder how many stupid people we're running across today. It's so bad with the tourists. It's just nasty poopy doo. But anyway, oh, this keeps slipping off. Anyway, it is just amazing. But the weather's great. We've had some nights in the 40s here this week. But the days are, are pretty warm. And uh, tons of tourists. Tons, tons, tons. So, I'm going to go organize the storage a little bit more and see if I can get some work done. trailer on your side of the road. That's a fact. And I need to get to this other lane because this one turns only. And that's a fact. And how I forgot that to be on me. But I did it in decency to the other drivers. Yay. Beach chairs, 999 skin boards. Oh, you know what? Last night they were stocking uh, those stand up paddle board things in Walmart. I couldn't believe it. I said, wow, they're just selling everything. But they had stand up paddle boards. You know, where you got like the pole and you stand on this surfboard looking thing and paddle around. It's a lovely thought, but. I'm not game for it. Not anywhere.
Nope. Especially with sharks around. Are you crazy? And, you know, whales and stuff and dolphins love to come up top. It would be just my luck. I'd be on that sucker and, and one knock it over. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to swim in the salt water. It's just I don't like to be around the shark areas. That's a wild looking beamer. <coughs> the pollen is wretched. It's all it's in my car now. It is terrible. It just makes it hard for me to breathe. So I'm gonna have to wipe the car inside of the car down today. really need to watch the outside. God, it almost looks like snow on the bonnet. <laughs> so I hope you are having a great day today. Because it's a lovely day in the neighborhood here so far. I got some paperwork done this morning. Did some price changes. car you have to turn the AC button on on top of all the fans and, and temperature gauges. So I used to drive my Cadillac because I just push the button and it's cold. And you, you can just change the temp. This one it takes like one, two, three three settings to get it to start in AC and then you've got two other settings after that if you want them on. So I imagine Hobby Lobby's not going to be doing too well because they stopped their coupons and I don't know if they're still doing sales in the store to replace the coupons or exactly how they're doing that but I think they took a beating on that one because Michael's gonna tear him up hey Michael's might be open today in Fort Walton the new one it's, it's in the week of the 20s so we'll have to see if it's today or in a few days that'll sure be neat because my office is right around the corner for now I relocate because uh, I will be relocating I, I imagine and I think I'll be looking forward to it there's a girl jamming on her pink moped how you like that <laughs> they used to have a lot of those in California that was a really big thing to get around years ago it was the quick woo woo way Something above skateboard and roller skates. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't ride one here, personally. 
too much traffic and stupidity. I see a lot of wrecks around here. Most of it's stupidity, the next part is drunks. There's another little mopedy thing. Boy, that one looks really old. It almost looks like a policeman's little motorcycle to do tickets with in California when they had those. Then they went to bicycles. Look at that. Huh. That looks really old. Might be a European version though. But it looks really old. Or it could be one they're putting out now that just looks old. Isn't that wild? The tires look really worn on the front though. Maybe they just look that way. Okay, we're gonna check and see if we got anything over this joint. As worthless as it is. Oh yeah. Face mask. Everywhere you got you go, you gotta do the face mask thing, you know. And it's like everybody wears a dog muzzle. <laughs> There's nothing simple anymore. If you wanna go in a place to go to the loo, you gotta put a face mask on. You know, you wanna go in Buy some fuel, gotta put the face mask on. You wanna go in this business, put the face mask on. But I put a face mask on when I go in this post office after after hours when it's like closed. I'm not fooling around. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Here, let me see if I can show you this little moped again. Cool, huh? I need to ask him if it is. <laughs> 